PlayStation 5 Slim. I pre-ordered it, you did not. I have it, you don't. Losers. So, open it up. Nice. This is the cover. So let's pull it out, shall we? This is a tricky one. No wonder why there's a hole in the bottom. You gotta push it out. Ah, we got the UK power socket. What is this? Oh, it's like this two of the plastic stand. Ah, genuine PS5 controller. I have to admit, this is the first time I got hold of it. Oh, that's very sweet of them. So they have kindly provided the HDMI cable. This is the USB to USB cable. Wow, this is gonna be so cool. Pull it out. Before we get into the actual unit, we got the guarantee, safety guide, quick start guide as well. Ooh, there's a bit of a bang there. Nice, that is so cool. Really cool indeed. PlayStation 5, slim. So you can see there's the shinier top, that's the upper side. And on the bottom side is this bit of a sparkling kind of effect, isn't it? So we've got four pieces of top, just like what they said. At the front, there are two USB-C plugs, power, also the eject button. On the back side, we've got the HDMI LAN cable slot, two USB cable, and the power. And that's pretty much it, I would say. Other than the fact that we've got this funny circle on the bottom, PlayStation symbol on the bottom as well. Not sure about this, by the way, is it for locking it down so that no one can steal your PS5 Slim? Not sure why they put this blue tape around it, but if it's because these four pieces fall off quite easily, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Nice. Right, for these horizontal feet stand, there's four different holes here. One, two, three, and four, right? Inward, that's where you actually put it in. That's how it gets stuck. Mirror image that as well. Voila, that's all good to go. What is this paper anyway? This environmentally friendly thing is going too far, I think. See what I mean? This is just going too far and it's really annoying to take these out. Look how easily this shiny bit picks up grease for my hand. It ain't good, bro. It ain't good for long-term use. Cool, look at that. How well it settles with my Rock Audio and my LG 55-inch TV. Nice. Okay, I got it connected to the wire. Damn, these papers. Ugh. Look at that. If you delay it, they actually tell you what to be done. As if they're telling you you're an idiot by the time if you haven't figured it out. <laughs> Are we gonna hear any Koreans actually? Or is it this for Europe only? Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, I gotta connect to Brexit means Brexit. It's quite funny because PlayStation 5 pronounced Brexit as B-R-E-X-I-T means B-R-E-X-I-T. <laughs> What is this for? I mean, they don't, do they really need to read it out? As if it's asking whether I have to be the owner. I'm sorry. Why? Why? You. Why? You. I got a confession to make. If you actually do five, six, five, six, somehow it sounds like it's swearing. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, I see. That's quite cool. It's like Star Wars. Update. It's going to take a while. 1.185 gigabytes. Restarted twice. Oh, gosh. Another update. Update now. Update, please. So I guess if you get another controller, you got to update it by doing the same thing. That's quite cool, actually. It has the LED intelligence expression on it. So because of the transparent buttons, you get this sort of free LED light effect. What I mean by free is that you don't need to use power to shine up your buttons. That's quite clever. It's almost three minutes and we're still waiting. This is the longest part so far. 
Right, so this has been updated for more than 20 to 30 minutes and I actually looked it up on Reddit. Apparently this is quite a common thing for uh, PlayStation S Slim. Uh, so it's stuck. Few people have actually already commented, but the advice is to press the uh, PlayStation button for a while to see if it works. So let's actually try that. So you can see the amber light on both ends. So I just restarted my PlayStation. Okay, now it's updating my disk drive. Your disk drive is connected to your PS5. Okay. Disk drive. Disk drive. So I got old PS4 games and someone told me that this actually still works on PS5. So let's actually try the Dynasty Warriors 9 to see whether it works. I have to say that this went in really smoothly. Okay, so yeah, I could, I guess this will be quite sensible. That's pretty cool. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Cool, look at that. So it's actually copying my Dynasty Warriors 49%. PlayStation Store, Dynasty Warriors, Astro Player Room, Media Gallery, Share Factory, Remote Play, Game Library. So that's pretty simple. Nice, so you can watch. Whoa, so it does work on PS4 games on a slim version as well. So I better play this game. So I'll see you guys later. All the best. Bye bye. I don't know what it is, but the graphics seems to be much better. It's improved quite a lot. And the screen is actually filled up as well, isn't it? So that's pretty cool.